Hello everyone, my name is Michael Spetta, Director of Creative here at Layer. Today I'm going to walk you through the workflow of building a new style, which means training a custom AI model with your own art assets to create consistent generated assets. The first step is to name your style, select the base model, and choose the use case for the style you're creating. For base models, you have two options, Stable Diffusion XL, which is an industry standard open source image generation model, or Bria 2.3, which is an image generation model trained exclusively with a licensed data set, designed for commercial use and includes full legal liability coverage. This model is available to our enterprise users. Next, select your use case. You could choose from single or multiple characters, in-game items, backgrounds, vehicles, UI, icons, and symbols. Once you've selected your use case, we can move on to the next step. Now, let's upload image files to train the AI model and create your art style. On this page, we have some best practices that we encourage following so your art style can generate the best results. It's important to ensure your files are 1024 by 1024 pixels. If they're not a one-to-one -one aspect ratio, the model will fill in the transparent space with the solid color. If you can't resize your assets to our recommended size, you can resize and upscale them within layer after you upload your files. We recommend uploading up to 25 images for best results, but if you only have six images, that can also work. If you need transparent generations, train your images that have a transparent background. If your image has a background, you can remove it within layer, or if you have a solid background in your image, a neutral color like gray is recommended. If you're creating a single character style, upload a mix of headshots, close-ups, and different facial expressions for better face generation. Name the character in your prompt for consistency. For example, if the character's name is Luna, you can enter Luna, happy, wearing a Halloween costume in the prompt. This allows you to generate assets with that exact character with a very specific emotion expressed on their face. For non-characters, upload 15 to 20 varied images like a chest, tree, or a house. If you're creating asset upgrades, include destroyed versions or different levels of assets in the training. With environments and backgrounds, remove unnecessary elements and avoid blurry or out-of-focus images. For UI elements, remove all text, numbers, and icons before uploading. By following these guidelines, you'll help Layer accurately learn and replicate your art style. After you've uploaded your assets, the AI will automatically create a description of the image. It's important to review these prompts for accuracy and make updates as needed. Having a consistent order and structure in the image description is a factor you should consider. For example, if you're training multiple characters, you can start with the shot type, like full body shot, medium shot, or close up and then into the description of the character, followed by what they're wearing, or facial expression, etc. These details can include gender, age, color, outfits, emotional state, hair, and so on. Once your assets and prompts are ready, the next step is to provide a few example prompts. This helps ensure that once your style is trained, it aligns with your expectations. Training a style takes about 45 minutes, then you can start forging with your custom trained art style. Next, we'll go over the best practices for the forging experience. So stay tuned for that next tutorial. 